Hello and welcome to Diclonius Gaming. Today we are playing I, Divine Cybermancy, which is um, it's an old looking game. It's on Source Engine. It's uh, it's not actually that bad of a looking game, to be uh, perfectly honest. Um, although there is lag, uh, sorry, there is small lag spikes now and again, which I have no idea why. I'm leveling out at around 70, 80 FPS now. It seems, I, put it this way, when I'm not recording, it seems to be around 200 FPS. And if there's any FPS drops, it only drops down to about like 120, then straight back up again. But when I'm recording, this game seems to just drop. It just seems to completely drop an FPS. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure what the game's actually going to be like in, in the, on the combat areas, but this game, it has that problem. <laughs> But yeah, this game, it's quite an old game. I couldn't tell you what the storyline is, because the storyline is um, only really there if you try and find it. It's a little bit odd. Um, like, I have been doing the campaign, and um, even the campaign doesn't give you much in terms of dialect and storyline. It's um, fairly... How do I put it? Uh, um, I would say it's fairly hard to find the story, uh, difficult, um, definitely gets your brain working if you're actually one to try and, the fi try and find the story in this place, but um, yeah, but anyway, this is um, like the headquarters of I, which is Divine Cybermancy, which is like a, some sort of secret, uh, like, organisation that like, I don't know, keep the streets safe, kind of like an agent, but not an agent, like, almost like a super soldier. It, an agency that controls super soldiers, which is uh, an interesting thought to say the least. And um, I'm just going to drop down here. I almost killed myself there, but it's fine because I'm going to go in here. But yeah, this I'm going to show you the combat with one of the secondary missions. There's some sort of you get these missions later on after you've um, after you've completed some of the campaign. You you get access to new areas, and this is one of the few areas I've unlocked. I've unlocked this one. And another one just like up on that level, just right there. And uh, I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna show you some of the different things. Um, some of the different combat mechanics. Actually, before I go do that, I'm gonna do one tiny thing. And that's I'm gonna go all the way to an armory so I can change my weapons and show you the weapon loadouts of this game. Now, no need to worry, there's. I'm not sure if I can use this armory, but there's an armory right there if I can't. Nope, I can change my weapons here. Okay, fair enough. Right. Uh, usually, I just don't bring anything. I'm just going to reset equipment. Now, here's... You can pick your armor. You can pick light armor. It does... Well, the armor values do exactly what you, like, think they do. They make it so you, like, can't hold as much. Like, out of the 100% of stuff you can hold... Um, light takes up 0% of how much you can hold. Medium money takes up 9%, whereas heavy takes up 30% of the amount of weight you can carry. Um, so it's definitely not power armor, um, but it's definitely armor of some kind. Now, of all the weapons in here, we have the melee weapons. We have um, a weapon called the Democles, which is like a gigantic sword. It's actually quite huge. Uh, slightly katana-esque and does quite a hefty amount of damage for a uh, for melee weapon. And I don't have this item, this is some kind of hammer, but I'm not really into hammers so I'm not really going to go buy it. And these are dual weapons, these are literally called katanas, these, these are literally katanas. They don't do a lot of damage, but uh, they're quite fast for what they are. But I wouldn't bring them with a, like, with a heavy armor build, it's a bit useless considering you get a, a normal katana anyway. Uh, built into your armor, so that's not too bad. Uh, there's quite a, num new, uh, quite a number of different pistols. There's f um, four different pistol types, giving this one's like dual handguns, so yeah. This, some, this is some kind of heavy revolver. These are like a light handgun. They, they are actually wall-piercing weapons, but they're like 
They don't do a lot of damage, they're fast firing, um, average recoil, semi-automatic. You can make them automatic somehow, but I can't remember how. Um, they don't do a great amount of damage, but uh, they can hold 40 rounds, so that's 20 rounds each. That's uh, pretty decent. Then you have this gun, which is the Black Crow, which is a heavy... Um, well, it's a normal handgun, but it's like, got heavy recoil, it's semi-automatic, 13 rounds, decent amount of damage, and is very, very accurate. And then we have this like small revolver here, and I haven't even unlocked it, so I don't even know what it's like. But I'm going to bring that. I'm going to bring Heavy Crow, and I'm going to uh, put about five clips of ammo. Um, we have some machine guns, so we have this submachine gun, which is like, almost like a submachine handgun. It's almost some kind of like futuristic Uzi uh, called the Croon, uh, a HS010. And it has, um, you know, it has, I think it has a hundred round clips. So yeah, there's, there's the clips. This is some kind of larger SMG, but I've never used it. Uh, the shotguns, there's uh, a double barrel sawn off called Betty Boom. But I'm not, I've used it. It's, it's actually pretty fun, but uh, it also doesn't, it, right, this is, the, this is the crazy thing. It only says it does 25 to 35 damage, but that's per, like, um, pellet. So, it actually does a lot of damage, whereas, like, the, the, but you need to be close. It, the closer you are, the more damage you're going to do. Um, and obviously that comes in, uh, like, shotgun shells. So, that's six, six shotgun shells to each ammo you put in here. I'm using up 38% of my weight at the minute. Uh, there is the uh, Depa, Depazator, Depazator. Yeah, some kind of, it's, it's basically a normal shotgun, but it has a clip, which is quite nice. It has a 32 round round clip. It does more damage than the sawn off per gradient, but I believe this thing, this shotgun has like, I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure this shotgun actually has like very little, um, how do I put it? Uh, has a very it has a small amount of uh, pellets rather than that one, but it does fire a further range, so it makes up for it. This is called the the crow shot or something like that. Um, it's just a different type of shotgun. I don't actually know anything about that one. The sniper rifles. There's a light sniper rifle which is silenced. Uh, Twenty five rounds in its magazine. Uh, has has a very very like slow rate of fire. Actually, can't remember if this one has a slow rate of fire or does that one. No, it's this one. This one has a very slow rate of fire. This one has quite a fast rate of fire. Uh, high damage, very, like, has an expected accuracy because they don't actually have full-on accuracy. Um, they have, it's decent. It's decent. It's wall-piercing sniper rifle. Good for light runs. This one is a... It's a 50 cal, basically. It's a 50 cal without a scope. Well, it says without a scope, but, like, you have a scope in your helmet, so it doesn't actually make a difference. Uh, slow fire, excellent accuracy, five rounds, um, a two times zoom, and stupidly high damage, and very high recoil. Um, and this weapon here is some sort of um, in between for them. There's the assault rifles, which there is like a really, really light assault rifle, which is, it says it's wall piercing, but I don't believe it. Um, I've never pierced a wall with this bugger in my life. Uh, this weapon called the Rotten Mound is actually quite good. It's almost like a futuristic AK. Um, 30 round clip, average accuracy. It's actually pretty decent. It has quite a high amount of recoil, but it does kill enemies pretty fast. And this is some kind of bullpup design uh, ha uh, assault rifle, which I'm going to go here ahead and say it's got a uh, higher caliber than these. Or maybe a higher caliber than this one, and lower than that one, but this one... It looks like a weapon that would have a high rate of fire. Then there's the heavy weapons, which is one that I usually take, the uh, Speculum o uh, Ovum, which is a grenade launcher. Heavy recoil, semi-automatic, um, six rounds, does a decent amount of damage in, in an area. Pardon me, um, 40 millimeter grenades. A clip contains six shots, so it's pretty decent. Then there is the uh, Sulfatum, which is a minigun really nice looking minigun as well. Uh, heavy recoil, fully automatic, 500 rounds in its uh, clip. Um, has really bad accuracy. Has a huge rate of fire and does quite a lot of damage. 
and this one here is some kind of automatic cannon. I, I want to get it, but I don't have enough strength. And these are just extra things like grenades and stuff like that. I I'm going to take actually a few grenades. Two grenades. Are them I I yeah, I'm going to bring this big minigun just to show off. Um just going to fill that out. There we go, yeah. Too much equipment carried. It's just oops shit. Um Yeah, I know, I know. I know too much equipment is carried. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll just take this one away. Um, so yeah, we have quite a lot of ammo here. I'm going to accept that equipment. There's a grenade. And here's the minigun. Um, so I've got quite a lot of ammo on this. Decent, isn't it? That was 30 rounds of ammo right there. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, um, this is uh, just going to be a decent little run through. As you can see, my character is very heavy. Bouncing down the stairs. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go into this. And before we properly go into it, I'm going to uh, skip this loading screen. Right, we are back, and we are now in the map. This is actually where I started, um, in the sewer, with an armory. Alrighty. Let's have a look at each other. Awesome, you're transferring the objectives. Do I have a light again? Oh, one second, I can't remember if I have a flashlight. I believe I do. Cyphos. Pretty sure I had a had a light flashlight. Gee, there we go. Got oh, a frame rate drop there. That was really weird. All right. Destroy the transcom to jam communications. You do not look friendly, sir. Yeah, this um, this minigun does actually have a zoom function. Hello, you. You weren't uh, you weren't very friendly. Have a look here then. Got hit by that there. You uh you don't die relatively quickly in this game. Um because enemies car where the enemy oh shit, go. Enemies actually have a really hard time hitting your ass half the time. Oh great, mutants. Yeah, the majority of the time in this game, enemies are actually having a really hard time hitting your ass for some reason. They, um, do it most of the time, they, uh, they fail to hit you, which is quite funny to watch. The only time they really hit you is when you have like a sniper rifle or something like that. Come back here, you. There's a headshot there. Alright, I've got to destroy this. Alright, cool. First, though. Go. Oh, shit. We're going to do maintenance on ourselves. It allows us to start healing. Oh my god, we died. Okay. We died. But don't worry, I still have one Resurrector remaining in this thing. So, there we go, that's a Resurrector. Die, motherfucker. There we go, right. Oh, 
There's my mission done. Now we need to plant the detectors. Righty. Plant the, plant the biologic detect. Oh shit, hello. Biologic detectors to prevent the steering on the steers. I believe these guys are called the steering. I'm not actually entirely sure. Uh, either way, they're not very nice and they fire flames at you. So, uh. Something doesn't sound too good, does it now? You both didn't look very nice. Alright, let's try to go through here. Where? What? What? Where? Oh, I know where. You. Right. Don't know if I killed him there. Oh well. Either way, let's, uh, let's go plant this detector. Right, there's two planted, I need to plant another three. Alright, well, um, yeah. Hello, rat. And tur turtle alien. Yeah. Psychic! Psychic powers! All the psychic powers. I love the psychic powers in this game. They're quite fun, but they uh, expand a lot of your power. Enemies just seem to, um, you know, just spawn randomly. Like, if you go through an area, clear all the enemies out, then have to backtrack, you'll find that area is just repopulated with all the enemies all over again. Um, or at least repopulated with very similar enemies. Oh my god. These guys are like, I don't know, they're like commanders or something. Okay, that guy is just not too friendly, I'm gonna go this way. So this world is some sort of like, futuristic hell where aliens or something has decided to come along and fuck the world sideways quite heavily and they uh, yeah humans aren't doing any anything that really help unless you're counting us like the uh, I agency by trying to protect the world but uh, everyone seems to uh, want to kill you for one reason or another let's find this fucking wall but uh, there's a plant detector right there as well The AI on this game have some weird pathing. Fuck you. There must be some way of getting into this place. I'm gonna go this way and see. Actually, I know exactly how you get into this place. Um, because there's a mission in this in, exa in this exact area, but you spawn like to the left around that corner. So um, yeah, um, how do I? There we go. Yeah. You need to click enter on these. Go enter. I I don't don't know why. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Oh.
fool is I actually lost some health from that jump there. My guy is ridiculous he rid uh, ridiculously heavy. Um here oh my lord. I'm not going out, it's The more you fire this gun, the less accurate it gets, so, um, yeah, that's not very good. I'll plant the detector here. And, um, plant one over there. Alright. <laughs> yeah, thank god that these weapons are... So, I think I'm okay. Usually a sniper sits up there, so uh, I'm just quickly gonna Is there another mission to do? Or is this mission actually done done? This weapon is so inaccurate. Alright, cool. Righty. Three clips left. I don't know what I'm doing there. Hope no one shoots me in the spine. Oops. Yeah, I really hope no one decides to shoot me in the ice. There's like gravestones. This is like some sort of fucked up grave. I don't know. This. It's an indoor grave. Oh. Oh. Ow. Who the fuck are you? Fucking crazy ass weirdo. With invisibility. <laughs> Don't actually know what I need to do now. It's a little bit disconcerting. Um I wonder. Oh well, I missed that and I didn't want to go this way, but you know, whatever, whatever. Oh, console. Right. Right. No, that's not what I want to do. No. Righty. Action. Oh my god, I'm getting shot in the ass. Right. Fuck off for like one second. Fuck, hold on, I hide behind you. Right. Um, hack. Computer. It's like some kind of crazy ass mini game. Right. 
I'm gonna fail this. I got hacked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking hack this guy. Me hacked. Hack. I hack myself, alright. <laughs> to scan. Scan again. Done, there we go. Fucking hell. I hate hacking. Um if you check an enemy in the back by surprise you'll do more damage. Yeah, fuck yeah. Sure. But yeah, I completed three objectives, got lots of money and fucking shit. <laughs> So yes, as you probably noticed, this game is a, uh, it's quite an old one, has its ups, has its downs, um, it's worth it, I would say it's actually a really good game, but um, sadly the single player is the only thing really worth doing anymore because um, the, only way, the only way you can play multiplayer is LAN. The servers for this game went off ages ago and you can't seem to connect to them anymore. Um, you also can't seem to LAN with, um, with, um, like, how would I put it, Hamachi or Evolve or anything along them lines. It just doesn't seem to work. We've tried quite a few times. Um, it works for the one that's hosting, but if anyone tries to connect, it just doesn't work. It, they just can't connect. Um, but so far, we have came across a decent game. If you land in like real life, lad, you know, come round someone else's house. I know it's a weird thing, but you know, come round someone else's house and uh, you know, put put an Ethernet cable in between you guys and link up. Yeah, it should work fine. You uh, should be able to play the game completely uh, LAN, LAN, like linked up properly uh, instead of using like a fake LAN, if you would. Um, not that I've got anything against fake LAN. I mean. But it just requires you to use that. Oh, so look at all this Japanese writing. This is blatantly Japanese culture they're sort of using here. I don't even know. It's weird. But yeah, um... Ooh, a shit. Can't get in that, but I like it. But yeah, um... So this game's good. It's decent. Uh, it's got a good way... It's got a good... Sorry. It's got a good feeling about it. It's uh, all the guns feel really powerful. And at the same time, all the guns are quite, quite nice graphically, even though like, 
they are like if you look at the shine on the barrels that's pretty nice even though the lighting in here like is the suckiest lighting ever but uh you now the guns have a nice model uh, this gun doesn't really <laughs> there is a katana which looks like a katana <laughs> so that's always good controls like a katana and defend and uh, attack yeah, it's nice um if i just went in here and was like yeah i don't want heavy armor anymore i want light armor i don't want that gun what are you all about i want to be really light you could technically get away with a really light build let's say like dual pistols or something with like lots of magazines and sawn up shotgun that can work I've seen it being done I should take that away yeah I've seen this being done that's a good light build you know um lots of grenades in there as well just like in fact I'd like six grenades why not I mean uh great so yeah if you have like this like even the shotgun has like that nice it's like a really old like flintlock kind of yeah get a good feeling to it it's nice to fire one you can still reload together and don't lose your shots that's always good and uh there's, there's grenades and fuel pistols left and right trigger there's no zooming in so well actually if you click any, if you click one of the tri like one of the um, mouse buttons, you will fire both guns. Like I, this is this is left mouse button only. This is right mouse button only. This is both. You can kind of get away with it. I mean, like either way, guns are nice feeling, nice looking. A medium build, I would say, go for something along the lines of. Uh, I don't know. In fact, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's bring these, just just for shits. Bring these. Um, just have like a medium build. Bring like shotgun. And uh, and I don't know. Actually, there we go. We'll bring that as well. Shit. And just fill this leg up with ammo. And, um. Oh shit. Just have a bit more ammo in there and there. And, uh, add grenades in. Like. So. Just be like grenade, 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 grenade. Grenade, grenade. Yeah, that can work. So, like. Just have, like, the shotgun. That's like. A loading animation, which is nice. And then we have the, uh. Machine pistol. Which is mental. Doesn't do much damage, but fucking hell, he'd wreck. And he has a dual sword, so you'd be like. Attack's pretty fast, attack's good. Compare that. And. One minute! Okay, no, I did hit that. I thought someone was shooting at me. In fact, you can actually go shoot these guys. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go show you just for the sake of shooting things. So, uh, if I just went up to, like... That, actually, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to do it in a very oops, spectacular way. If I just resettle my equipment, put on heavy armor, um, pulled out my... Um, where's it went? There it is. There we go. And just, like... Mine that up. In fact, can I? Ooh, I can. If I just plug that in there, if I just take all this out, I could probably just slot that in there. There we go. And um, yeah, that can work. Giant fifty cal, and then we have Democles. And if I just go up to this guy and be like, oops, kill the cat. So this, this gun is literally a one shot kill. So if I just go up here and go find some other dudes to go shoot, like through here. So I can zoom as well with it, which is pretty nice. So I can just be like, be -do, be -do, be -do. Oh, 
Oh wait, the zoom also lights things up, which is pretty cool. from this way I can just be like I actually increased the level for shooting my own people yeah Democles is OP um, I'm not even gonna lie I you know it, this game I'm not a big one for using melee weapons but Democles is it's got a something it's got something special in my heart Democles is pretty cool if I just go up to like let's say this one this guy here and just be like I'm gonna die here but I'm gonna... there we go <laughs> I just love it. I love it so much. It's so good and so helpful. This weapon is lovely. You can cut through like mounds of people. But you gotta imagine all these guys in here aren't actually low level enemies like what I was facing before. These guys are all like captains and stuff like that. I was literally fighting like the leaders of like the equivalent of leaders of the enemy team. Like what a boss would be. And this weapon is just OP as shit. <laughs> well as long as you can get close to the bastards. Which, well, you can get away with it. If I just run to this guy and was just like. There we go. See? Oh, he spawned more of them. Oh, I backstab my own clones. Oh, yeah, that, that's one of my abilities. There we go. Look, see, look clones of myself with handguns so like they're they're pretty cool so like damn it <laughs> oh, that was fun I've got to admit that three two resurrection activated you do feel like kind of some sort of like futuristic samurai in this shit, so it's like you can actually get knocked back by the shots Um, if I just like quickly just yeah there we go I'm kill all these guys now I can, um, well, let's kill a few of these guys, you know? <laughs> Come on, let me. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I've killed uh, everyone in my HQ. Or at least not everyone, but, but everyone in my training room. So, uh, yeah. Well, fuck. <laughs> Never done that before. Well, I'll better top myself. Oh, hello, friend. Yeah, they spell lessons wrong. I believe this game was probably made by a company that wasn't English. Um, and then when it's been translated, some of the translation has been uh, slightly off. 
Um, which is a common occurrence with games that come from other countries. I mean, it's, it's different, but... Just press the bar. That's so nice. Oh. But yes. Overall, I is uh, a good game. It's uh, on Steam. It's... Uh, doesn't cost that much. I mean, in fact, it's I've seen it on sale quite a few times for like two pound, um, or about like what, a couple of dollars, like three, four dollars maybe, um, for you American people. So, I mean, like, hmm, uh, uh, anywhere else in the world, I have no idea what currency, like equivalent, uh, what the, the currency exchange rate would be, but. I'm sure it's not that much, because <laughs> um, two pound in England is like nothing. I mean, like you could go down to the shop and spend two pound and come back with quite a lot of shit. Not a lot of shit, but like a, a decent volume of money. It is. Um, but yes, so good game, good feeling. Weapons feel great. Enemies die pretty easily. It's got kind of like a uh, futuristic feel to it, with like a non-futuristic cultural side of it. It's nice. It's a nice change. My accuracy is like dead on. Boom. Well, I drew a funky dick. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Try the game if you want to um, play with friends in LAN, I guess. Or, or not. I mean, like, I mean, you don't have to, but, you know, whatever. Uh, other than that, um, this has been Diclonius Gaming. I'll uh, see you all later. <laughs>